This is an exclusive interview with composer Nathan McCree regarding his Tomb Raider Suite album, conducted by official fansite Rays of the Tomb Raider web. Nathan, you have just announced that the Kickstarter campaign to record the Tomb Raider Suite at Abbey Road Studios in London will be launching in mid-May 2017. Can you already share some details about the campaign? Yes, yeah, so um, our launch date is actually Friday, the 26th of May, 2017 and we are launching at 00 GMT. The campaign will run for 30 days and we're trying to raise money to record the Tomb Raider Suite, uh, which is a collection of the most popular tunes from uh, Tomb Raiders 1, 2 and 3. Um, and many of those tunes have been extended with new material, which hopefully I've written in a similar style to that, uh, uh, to what I did 20 years ago. And the plan is to record um, the album using one of the best orchestras in England at the most famous uh, studio in London, Abbey Road. The fans have been so excited about your announcement at PAX East last year and were eager for any kind of news regarding your Tomb Raider suite. How do you feel right now that you officially let the cat out of the bag as far as the album is concerned? Uh, well, it's a really amazing experience, actually, because, you know, I've been chasing this project for about 20 years, as it happens. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, all through that time, fans have been emailing me, asking me, you know, where can they buy the soundtrack? You know, um, when am I going to release it? Um, and unfortunately, I've had to say no so many times over the years. I've approached IDOS and then Square Enix and uh, I put together a business plan and we discussed that and they were extremely happy about that. That's all signed and done now. So, you know, I have 100% uh, backing from Square Enix and from Crystal Dynamics. So this is a fully sanctioned project. Um, and so, yeah, you know, it feels absolutely amazing to have their support finally. And um, also to be able to tell the fans that um, you know, the album is, is finally coming, it's on its way. Are there any plans yet with regard to special editions of the album, for example releasing a vinyl or collector's edition? Uh, yes, there will be uh, limited edition deluxe tin double CDs, um, which I will sign. Um, there's also going to be a limited edition uh, vinyl double album, which I will also be signing. So they will be special to the Kickstarter campaign only. Um, there will also be other merchandise, uh, which I'm also going to sign again, which um, you will only be able to get through the Kickstarter campaign. So yeah, there's something special in there um, for you know all those collectors that, that, that want those kind of items. Will the fans be able to choose between physical and digital copies of your album? Uh, yeah, absolutely. At the lower tiers you'll be able to get the digital download and then as you move up you'll be able to get either the standard dual case CD or the limited edition tin CD um, and then the vinyl album. I think you can get all these items separately. Um, so uh, yeah, absolutely they, they can get all of that. At PAX East 2016, you also talked about a documentary feature film about the entire remaking process of the Tomb Raider music. Can fans still hope for this film to be made? Uh, yes, indeed. Um, it is detailed as one of our stretch goals in the project description on the Kickstarter uh, webpage. So, um, you know, if we are fortunate enough to, to get that extra funding, that is definitely something which we're going to do. Um, you know, again, I, I've, I've got a team in place to kind of take on that leg of the project so um, it really is just down to the funding you know again we have full support from Square Enix and, and Crystal Dynamics to do this so um, yep it's still happening it's still up there <clears throat> um, so please support the project and it will happen.
A two-way that sweet world tour might be one of the fans' biggest wishes, since not everyone had the chance to travel to London last year and be part of this extraordinary world premiere at the Apollo Theatre. Do you have any news on this for us? Um, so uh, I, I am pushing to get the tour happening. Um, I've been talking to uh, a number of people in the States. I think that's where we're going to start first. We're going to roll the show out over there. Um, and then we're going to be looking at um, bringing the show to Europe. Um, of course, England. I haven't forgotten about you guys over there. Um, so, yeah, that's all still um, moving forward. Um, these things, of course, take time because there's lots of negotiations involved and lots of people involved. So um, it does take time, but we are moving forward on that. So um, I don't have uh, confirmation of any dates yet, um, but as soon as I do, of course, I will make those public. Um, but I think the fans can expect um, a tour to be happening hopefully i think by the end of this year um th that's what i've been told is possible so um yeah watch this space and I, and I will certainly let you know as soon as i have any more information on that this year marks the 20th anniversary for tomb raider 2 The game was released October 31, 1997. May we speculate that if the Kickstarter campaign is a success, the album might be released around October to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Tomb Raider 2? I think October is probably a little bit too early. Um, the plan, um, if we're successfully funded, uh, is to uh, record the album uh, at Abbey Road in August. Um, but then we're going to need some time for uh, mixing and mastering and, of course, the uh, mass production and, and distribution. So it's probably more likely going to be November. I think that's the date, uh, or that's the month which I've specified in the Kickstarter campaign. So hopefully that's not too late and we can still kind of say that we made the 20th anniversary of Tomb Raider 2. Is there anything else you would like the fans to know about the album, the campaign, or what is going to happen in the next few months? Certainly for the 30 days during the campaign, uh, I'll be updating the fans about where we are, how well we're doing, this kind of thing. I would just like to thank all the fans for their continued support, um, all the emails that I've been getting over the last 20 years. I think without those, I would have probably given up on this project a long time ago. So I really am very grateful to, to them and their continued support. If you guys want this album, just invest and it will happen. If you want evidence of, of how good this is going to be, check out the In The Blood promotion video which I made of the show in London. You can see the crowd's reaction. So please support the project. It's now up to you. If you want it to happen, invest and it will. <laughs>